The last thing I want to say is for the Christmas um, offering. And I talked about this a little bit last night, but our, our plan for our missions offering this year is to raise money to build a kitchen and a bathroom for the preschool in one of the villages in Malawi. So we have, we have now drilled 14 wells in 14 different villages in Malawi. All of those villages have a preschool building. Uh, one of them was destroyed in the recent floods and that has now been rebuilt through our partnership with Crestview Baptist Church in Midland, Texas. They donated the money to rebuild the preschool, but it wasn't, there wasn't enough money left to rebuild the kitchen and the toilet. And obviously having a kitchen and toilet helps for hygiene and sanitary conditions, not to mention being able to fix food for the kids. And so it's about 20,000 kroner to build the kitchen, about 10,000 kroner to build the toilet. And so that's what we're taking up our offering for this year. Uh, so I encourage you, I think we've got a slide. You can always give via VIPs, although there's a little fee that we lose on that. If you have a Norwegian account, you can give that way. You can also always give with a U.S. dollar check or transfer in the U.S. through Zelle. If you need information on that, you, we also can give tax deductions both in the U.S. as well as in Norway. And so if you need information on that, talk to myself or talk to Lisa, who's our bookkeeper, or talk to Bjornar, who's the head of the finance team. Any of us can help you with the different ways that you can give. Uh, I have put in the email the last couple of weeks, our balance in the U.S. is low, so we're going to have to transfer some kroner over. But if you are giving in the U.S. or have U.S. dollars you want to give, it would be great here at the end of the year because we've got some end of the year bills to pay and the crown is kind of weak and we lose on the exchange. Uh, and so if you want to give in the U.S., a couple, two, three thousand dollars should help cover all the end of the year stuff, I think. Um, and so we can give you the address and a check too or how to do that for those of you that have a U.S. dollar income, want the U.S. Uh, donation receipt. And so we appreciate that. And so as we do come to the end of the year, I would also encourage you, uh, if you haven't noticed, you can see it in the bottom of the bulletin, we're behind on our giving for the year. Now, I don't want to take away from the missions offering in Malawi, uh, but if you have been behind on your tithing or if you feel led to give an end of the year gift to the church as well as to the missions, everything that goes in the missions account, 100% of that goes to missions. Um, but the general account goes to the operating expenses so that we can do things like our outreach, our Awana program, church on Sunday, pay our rent here, and so forth. And so I do encourage you as we come to the end of the year, if, if you feel so led to give a, help us catch up on that, it would be appreciated. So with that, I think that we're going to have uh, ushers come forward for those that want to give by cash. And just a time now of worship through giving. And the music team will come up and we'll continue our worship through song. So if you would stand with me, let's pray as we continue worshiping. Father, we thank you for the opportunities we have to contribute to your kingdom. We know that you don't need our help, but you invite us to give uh, for our own sakes, for the sake of our souls, because it's important that we practice sacrifice. And no longer do you want sacrifice of animals, but a chance to sacrifice of ourselves, of our time, our talents, our treasure, uh, to pour into your kingdom. For where our treasure is, there our hearts will be also. And so, Father, help our hearts to be in the right place and our treasure in the right place. May we be, all be obedient to your calling in our lives for how you've called us to give. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>